Greg Draper, you've been stuck on 99 goals for quite some time now. Well, that drought came to an end in style today. Tell us all about it. Yeah, it's obviously starting to get to me a little bit being stuck on 99, but it was nice to get an early one. Uh, a bit of luck, a bit of a deflection off the defender, but you know, I'll take anything. I would have taken it, bouncing off my knee and you know, through the keeper's legs if I had to. But uh, nice to get the early one and obviously get three more as well. Um, I thought the main thing was that you know, we put on a good performance to uh, lift the trophy. Well, that was my next question. You scored the four goals, of course. 5-1 victory for TNS. Ultimately, it is about the team, and it was a comprehensive performance and result at the end of the day. Yeah, I thought we dominated really from start to finish. Uh, created a lot more chances. I had a couple more chances. Could have maybe had one or two more. Um, but yeah, we looked... Uh, Apart from the, obviously the free kick, which I thought was a soft free kick to give away, really. Um, they didn't really look like scoring. Uh, so no, it's good. we just got to make sure we keep doing that for the next four weeks and finish off the season with a bit of momentum. And you've been at the New Saints for a number of seasons now. How does it feel winning the title, the seventh consecutive campaign on the bounce? Yes, I say that's said before, it still means the same as the first one. Um, you know, I've been here for seven years now, so I'm you know, really good friends with a lot of the lads who have you know, been here the whole time with me. Chris Marriott, Paul Harrison, Sarge, Az, Spence. So, you know, to keep winning trophies with all those lads, uh, you know, keeps getting better and better, really. And as you mentioned, those players, there is a good team spirit at the New Saints. How important is that in gelling together on the pitch as a successful side? I'd say that's one of the main things, really, that's brought us all the success, really, is sort of keeping the majority of the squad together year on year, maybe only letting one or two go sort of each year. Um, helps us keep the squad, you know, sort of, you know, the fluency going and, um, you know, hopefully that continues this year. Hopefully, you know, hopefully we don't lose more than one or two players and bring one or two more stronger ones in to keep the competition going. Well, we're certainly enjoying the moment this afternoon, but we do want to look ahead as well. Next week, Bangor City on the road. That'll be a tough one because they're competing for the, for the second place. Yeah, obviously they've got a lot more to play for than us, but like I said, it's important that we keep, you know, keep the winning performances going. So we got some momentum going into Europe. And obviously, Bangor's gonna, you know, have everything to play for, so it's gonna be a really tough game. And uh, hopefully, I haven't scored against Bangor this year yet, so hopefully, banging another hat trick against them just to keep well, a few people quiet. Greg Draper, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on lifting yet another league title and of course on a personal level that 100 league goal for the new saints Cheers, thank you for your time thank you this afternoon. Thanks,